Hello YouTube. Welcome to my Macadamia Price Bulletin for 2023. This is one of my screen based videos because there are a lot of details to share and um, for those of you with big enough screens it's probably worthwhile having you look and see what I'm talking about as I'm doing it and um, also might give you a couple of things to jot down if you're tossing up um, options for macadamia nut processes to go with in the very difficult 2023 season. Now all the major prices have come out and um, the devil is in the detail with some of them but in general the prices are a range between $1.50 and $1.70 a kilo and um, all of those prices are very bad news for growers but let's get into our options and see what's available. Here's the basis for comparison that I'm going to do in this presentation. And there are other things as well. There are you know, shipping bonuses and a couple of other uh, little bonuses for things that are very inconsistent between processes. But these are the main categories. The price, which is standardised at 33% kernel recovery. Whether or not they pay us a different price for commercial kernel. These are the kernels that aren't good enough to eat but are good enough to do other products with such as um, cooking oil, um, whether there's a reject penalty or a reject bonus for the percentage of reject crop that you supply, whether there's an adjustment for the amount of whole kernel, and this is something new, and also the payment plan that each processor offers. So, starting with option one, Starman Webster. We um, had a look at the prices for Starman Webster when they were the first out back in um, early March, but here's a rundown again of what they're offering. Their price, they're all notional prices, but this one's $1.50, which is the lowest of all those on offer this year. Um, they pay for commercial kernel at a very low price, sometimes as low as you know, a few cents a kilo. Um, with rejects, there's a zero bonus available, so no matter how good, you know, even if you give them absolute zero, bon zero reject kernels, you get no bonus at all. But penalties escalate pretty heavily at 10 cents a kilo from 3% upwards. Um, whole kernel adjustment, no there isn't, so it doesn't matter how much whole kernel as opposed to broken pieces come out of your nut sample. Uh, and the payment plan, well, it used to be full payment in 45 days, according to a Starman grower who got in touch with me, um, but now it's 40 payments in 21 days, and then 10% every two months all the way until June 2024, uh, by which stage you'd be harvesting your next crop. So that's a, a very extended payment plan, uh, certainly compared to what Starman growers um, were used to. And... Um, again, for those with a big enough screen, here's a look at the table that they're offering um, with, the, with the pricing. You can see there that there's premium kernel, commercial kernel, and then the quality adjustments are on there. But um, yeah, again, the, the headline price of $1.50 is extremely unattractive and the least attractive in this group. Marquee, the big player, is option two. Now, Marquee does almost... Half of Australia's nuts, almost half of the world's nuts. And here's what they came out with and offered. Their notional price is $1.70 a kilo. And, you know, notional means that they can bring it up or down. And last year they brought it down twice on their own growers um, based, on, um, based on what they said were changes in market conditions. Their price for commercial kernel, they do have a separate price for commercial kernel, but it is the highest of all that's offered. In fact, it's it's quite high price for commercial kernel relative to the other offerings, but it is separated out from the premium kernel. Um, rejects, there are a bonus, but you need to be under 1.5% reject to get any bonus at all, and it's not much. Above 3% reject, there are pretty steep penalties. And, um, you know, up to, if you get 7% reject, the penalty is a dollar a kilo. So you'd be left with 70 cents uh, with more than half your price penalised away in terms of rejects. Um, no farmer worth his salt would give a crop in that had 7% reject, but that's just saying. Um, now, here's a new thing, the whole kernel adjustment. This is a big deal. For the first time, and I've been going on about this for a while, I'd been wondering why farmers weren't paid a bonus 
for providing whole levels, uh, whole kernel levels above a, a good percentage because it's whole kernels that the industry wants so much for snacking. And um, Marquee have introduced an adjustment for whole kernel, but um, once you scratch the surface, unfortunately, it's just a way to take more money away from the farmer. You get penalised if you provide whole kernel less than 50% of your crop, and you get a bonus if it's over 60%. Now, something like that would work uh, at a much lower percentage rate, but giving in a crop of over 50% whole kernel is next to impossible. Um, and the practical outcome for most growers will be they will be penalised for providing less than 50% whole kernel. Now, if you've got pure 816s or A38s or, or maybe some 849s, you might get close to getting a bonus. It's not a very big bonus, so I wouldn't worry too much. Um, the penalty, though, um, can get big if, you know, if you're around about the 30 33% whole kernel, which you can get with 344s, um, you're going to cop a fairly hefty penalty. So if you are a marquee supplier, do not overlook this new provision. It is a trap. Now, the payment plan uh, wasn't specified in their documents, but as I understand it, they paid in instalments until March 2024. And, of course, the notional price can change any time up until then, um, as it did this last season for marquee growers. There's the marquee table. Uh, again, it's going to be very difficult to read on most screens because the print's fairly fine, but there it is clearly and the new table on the right of the the thing is the whole kernel adjustment which is made after after you've got the the kernel um, recovery it then applies a multiplier so for example 30 percent whole kernel you're getting 90 percent of what you'd otherwise get moving on wally's nuts now wally's in previous years was the so-called honest broker they were offering the highest prices in the industry last season they were offering four dollars a kilo and they um, while it was notional they never reduced the price on growers and it was full payment in 30 days including bonuses let's have a look at what they're offering this year a dollar 70 like a couple of the other growers again notional um, there is a low price for commercial kernel so that will be taken off your your uh, premium kernel and you'll only be paid that low price for your commercial kernel. Reject penalties and bonuses. Look, they're not too bad. There's a small bonus if you get under 2% reject and a small penalty if you get over 2%. It's nowhere near as steep as some of the other providers, so it's not going to make a massive difference, but it is there. There's no whole kernel adjustment either way. And the payment terms, instead of giving 100% within 30 days, they're going to give you 50% within 30 days and five payments of 10% through to March 2024. And uh, those are the big changes if you are a Wally's grower. There's the table there um, with premium kernel recovery, commercial kernel recovery and unsound kernel recovery and the bonuses and, um, the, bonuses and the prices that apply to those. Again, the headline rate is $1.70, um, but the way they've got it set up, it won't be changed by too much either side of that unless they um, decide, of course, to take out the, no the notional price and change it to something else. Suncoast Gold. Um, now, Suncoast is the other grower-owned cooperative running in Australia, and or the other big one. There are a couple of smaller ones, uh, including, I think, MacNut on the mid-north coast. Wasn't able to get their um, details, unfortunately. Suncoast Gold um, has a price of $1.65 a kilo. So not the top price, but not far below it. Again, it's notional. Um, their commercial kernel price is very is quite low. It's not, not super low, but you're not going to get much really for your commercial kernel. Um, your reject system is fairly simple. You get a bonus under 2% and a penalty over 3%. A little bit steeper than for Wally's though. Uh, no whole kernel adjustment, and your payment is in 10 equal instalments of 10%. Uh, and given how little we're gonna be paid for the nuts, it's gonna feel like being on a drip in hospital. But, um, but that's the um, Suncoast Gold offering for this year. Um, just on um, the rejects, uh, you know, at 7% reject, you're getting 40, 40 cents off a kilo. 
whereas for marquee you're getting a dollar off so that's uh you know, that's an idea of um how steep the reject penalties are and look you know your reject bonus for 0.0, .0 reject is only 20 cents a kilo so it's um you know nothing to write home about in terms of a, a good financial deal particularly when the um particularly when the price is not that great um, to start with. Finally, and it, I say finally because I wasn't able to get Macadamias direct, I did make a direct approach to them and they refused to release their details and I've been unable to source them from anyone else. But here's MWT and um, MWT was unfortunately two seasons ago the only Macadamia producer to pull the notional price on their growers and given a, a reduced price for um, the 2021 season so they lost a lot of growers there um, and what they're offering this year however might surprise you the price is the same as the top of the market everywhere else a dollar 70 i say top of the market advisedly because it's a terribly low price Again, it's notional, and really there's a trust issue, and you, you wonder how, how notional is notional um, for a company that does adjust a bit. However, there is no lower pricing for commercial kernel. It's all paid as per premium kernel, and this is how all the processors were doing it in the boom times. MWT have kept that, and that's something worth sitting up and taking notice of. Um, and again, with rejects, there's a bonus below 3%, and normally other bonuses kick in at around 2%. This time there's a small, it's, it's not a huge bonus, but there is a bonus below 3%, but importantly, no penalties. They're the only processor not penalising reject crop this year. There's no adjustment for whole kernel, which is great compared to how Marquis are doing it, and the payment plan is 50% in 30 days, three five percent instalments that work out over sort of september november and uh, january i think and then the remaining balloon of 35 percent in march 2024 so how do these all stack up against each other well this table might help you compare we've got all of the processes here uh there's the price up the top so the best price is wally's marquee and mwt only MWT are not giving you a low price for commercial kernel. Um, the reject bonuses are given by everyone except Starman. The reject penalties, everyone's doing penalties except MWT. And the whole kernel adjustment is only being done by the market leader, which is Marquee. And while no others have followed suit this year, you'd have to wonder whether that's a signal for coming years. Everyone, unfortunately, is offering delayed payment. So the old full payment within 30 days or 45 days that used to be offered by a couple of processors is not on offer this year. So how would I summarise this? Well, it's a miserable bunch of prices. And, um, you know, the fact that it's such a tight range, again, I think I said this last year, suggests that there's been some comparison between processors. There really isn't that much to choose from on price. But when it comes to the fine print, there is definitely some basis to differentiate. And I'd have to say, out of the um, five processes that I'm looking at here, uh, on the fine print, MWT wins on a couple of grounds. The fact that you're protected against reject penalties and that what they find to be commercial kernel is paid out at the same as premium kernel avoids a lot of disputation about the quality of nuts or how some are being treated as commercial for lightly discoloured kernels that are in fact fine. Um, it's not a bad deal uh, on those sorts of levels. And, you know, you might consider that, you know, if commercial crop is, say, you know, 5% of your crop, well, that's 5% of your nut that you'll be paid full price on instead of a tiny price on. And as a financial offering, so long as the notional price holds equally amongst these processes, MWT looks like the best deal but again there are reputation things to to rely on you know how do how well do you trust that notional payment and um, no one that i know of is unfortunately offering a fixed payment that gives you that security as a farmer that you'll be getting the price that you quoted and with the delayed payment schedule well this is where the notional price can come in and bite you because it can be changed before you get new installments 
Um, so a fairly miserable set of terms. MWT are the best of a bad bunch on paper anyway. Um, who would you go with? Who have you had experience with? Um, does anyone know what Macadamia Direct is offering? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, but I thought this might help some of you in your decision making. I should also say that, you know, just because I put these offers up here doesn't mean that they're necessarily accepting new growers. You would need to make your inquiries before jumping ship from an existing processor that you're tied to just to make sure they're willing to take on new farmers. Uh, I know that Suncoast, for example, are definitely not taking on new growers, but um, the others and Marquee, you have to be a shareholder. Um, and I think Suncoast, you have to be a shareholder as well. But I don't know about the remaining processes. Please make your own inquiries before jumping in and please also read the rest of the fine print. If you've got problems understanding the fine print, I'm here to help you um, and I won't charge for it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. It's a little bit of a technical one, this one, but I promise to get back to you from Nutkin Farm with some far prettier pictures than this in the near future. Happy Easter.